In this video, I'm going to go over, in my opinion, one of the most basic applications on this tool. And this is something that you'll probably learn on the tool first. First thing you're going to learn is this application, and it's called Missing Line. And if you don't have this on your home screen like I do, it's very easy to get to. You simply go to your draw function. It doesn't matter what job you're in. You can be in any job on the tablet, but you go to the draw function. And even if you have a drawing that pulls up, it does not matter. All the applications are under this right window. You simply swipe down on it, look for the application you want, and click on Missing Line. So why do I like Missing Line? Well, Missing Line doesn't require you to be stationed. If I go back to the Home button, you'll see that there's a Stationing tab here. And if you ever want to lay out any part of your CAD file or your digital job, you will indeed have to station. But Missing Line doesn't require that at all. You simply go into Missing Line, and it's already ready for you to start working. And Right off the bat, just so you understand, missing line is going to essentially be a virtual tape measure for you. You measure one point, measure a second point, and boom, you now know the distance and additional information between those distances. And I'm gonna show you real quick, and you can use it right away. So right now I have my tool looking at a location. It's using the laser. I'm gonna measure my first point. Now it's inviting me to measure a second point, but one thing that's nice about missing line is that I could measure a second point to lock my measurements in, but you see how it's bouncing over here? Missing line actually will give you a live read of how far you move from that point. So what I'm going to do is before even measuring the second point, I'm going to move my laser across the wall and you're going to watch as these values increase as I move. Okay, I think that's self-explanatory enough. So what I just did is that you saw that I moved it. I moved it a little bit to the right of the point that I was measuring. And I also moved it a little bit up from the point I was measuring it. So what it's giving you is five pieces of information. And the way I like to think about this is a right triangle. It gives you your horizontal distance, the exact distance you moved horizontally. So I moved five feet, two, and seven eighths. It gives you your slope or the hypotenuse of that right triangle. It's telling me that I moved an exact five foot six and nine sixteenths on a slope between the two points. And then it's giving me the height differential between those two points. So height difference of one foot, nine and three quarters. And lastly, it's giving you your angles in percentage or degree, whatever you prefer, from point one to point two along that horizontal line. So I hope this helps you out. What you're mostly going to use this for is your horizontal distances. That's what I mainly use this is to find horizontal distances between points, to check control points, to check vital points in the field. Being able to do this so quickly means the world of difference when I get to the job site, and I think it's going to help you out a lot. And just in case it needs to be said, Yes, you can use more than just a laser to do this, obviously. If you want to switch over into prism mode, you can very easily do that. Right here, go into prism mode, connect to your prism, and the tool is going to be able to do the same thing while you're connected to a prism. It's just preference. So hopefully this is a good application to get you started with the tool. Let me know what you think. Let me know your questions in your comments, and I think it will lead to a good discussion.